ready? Ready, Fang? Let's do this. Executing. Toasty. <clears throat> Stay down. Impossible. I didn't realize I. Let's do this! Stay down! Let's go! Get ready! Slash! Stay Stop down! Stop resisting! I can keep going! Slash! Next! Sit! Skinny! Skinny! Let us begin. That's nothing. Pain don't hurt. Executing Giga Blow. Brace yourself. That's nothing. Oh. Slash. Take oh. off. Let us begin. That's nothing. Executing Slice and Stone. Brace yourself. Pain don't hurt. Executing shooting slash. Yeah. Yeah. Take this. Oh. Yes. You ready? All right. Get ready. There. Stop resisting. What? Oh. Let's do this! <laughs> Not done yet. Next! Get out of here! This is...
Out of my way! Get ready! Splash. Take up! Stay down! Good work, Fang. You... What holding...
go! Get ready! My turn! Can we dodge this? Let's do this! Next! My turn! Get ready! Ha! Take off! Stay My down! Turn. Ha! Ha! Let's do this! Slash! I'm ready! Get ready! Slash! Next!
ready. Execute. My turn. Disappear. Now fight it's all over. <laughs> it's not Can't over see yet. My true power. Let's do this. Get ready. Fly. I'm ready. Let's do this. Stay I'm ready. It's all over. Get ready. Stay down! Get out of here! Stuffed. Hey, sorry for bothering you so late. No worries. Keeping you company is a perfect excuse for a late night snack, so I'm fine with whatever. Huh? Why do you need an excuse? Just eat whenever you feel like it. I can't do that! A girl can't eat late at night unless she has a good excuse. I'm not gonna pretend to understand, but that sounds really dumb. Anyway, our Fury collection keeps on growing. Have you decided on your wish? Nah, not really. I can't say I've ever had some kind of huge wish or anything. Hmm. Even thinking about it now, all that comes to mind is food. Like some kind of all-you-can-eat steak dinner. You're so frivolous. At least wish for a year-long steak buffet or something. Oh, or, or like a, a five-year supply of tuna fish? Yeah! Or enough fancy chocolate to last the rest of your life! Oh. All this talk about food is making me hungry again. Well, if you're gonna eat some more, I wouldn't mind keeping you company a little longer. <sighs> now that my stomach's full, I'm feeling sleepy. I guess I should go to bed. <sighs> Goddess's sanctuary. Bang! Ready the faith drop. The goddess will descend soon. Got it. It's finally happening. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who gave you guys permission to do this? Jeez, you're really reviving the goddess? Get real. There's no way Lady Mariana will allow that. 
Mariana and her bodyguards? There are many Dorfas. So yeah. Dorfa will use that power. Plan for victory. Let's do this. Here I come. Next. My turn. Here we go. My turn. Next. Reflect upon. You can't be serious! Now, now, vile god! Bring death to these fools! I shall give my all! Fuck me! Stop! I can't believe that power! Your strength is noteworthy, I admit. But it's still only within the bounds of a mere human. While the power I hold in my hands dwells within the domain of the gods! And what human can defy a god?! This can't be! I mean, this is just... ridiculous! How can he be this strong?! I can't be serious! Hey! Tiara! Goldo! Now, Director Bernard... It is time to release the Vile God's full power, so that Dorfa may use it to rule the world. I understand. Because you saved my life, I will happily obey. All shall be as Dorfa wishes. Ah, I can hear it. The Vile God's voice. He wants this world to fall into chaos. He wants this world to be reborn. Return to darkness, world! And from that darkness, rise once more! This is the Vile God's wish, and my own! Eren! I'm okay. Just leave this to me. The Vile God's power may have been revived, but so is the goddesses! It's too late. The Vile God was revived first. The power of the goddess can do nothing without being fully revived. Ah! Aaron, are you okay? Come on, you have to pull through this. I'm fine. But the others... <laughs> Embrace your death! And let the distortion of space-time consume you! Pulling me in! Bang! Everyone! Uh -huh. Hang on, Lord Sherman! If you get sucked in there, we won't be able to! I'm honored that you think so highly of me, but I'm afraid I can't hold on any longer! I'll let Dorfa play their games for now, but this is only temporary. I will have the last laugh. No matter what happens, promise me that you'll never fall in love with me. You don't need to act so standoffish, Fang. Come on, Fang. That goes for you, too. It's a big no-no to swallow your face. Thank you, my shame. Your manliness has gone up. Amazing. Amazing. You're so amazing. If you get so worked up, you'll really? just play right into his hands. I have a dream. I need to collect the theories to make that dream a reality. But before we leave... Weary Traveler, you must be exhausted. I have just brewed some chamomile tea. You are welcome to partake of it with me. Are you conscious, Sherman? Ryushin... Where... Where are we? Based on the terrain and weather, I surmise we are at the Soul Plains. Eren is currently investigating the nearby area. The Soul Plains? What are we doing here? Information not available. 
We need to gather more data in order to fully analyze our current situation. Okay, Ryushin. There's no doubt that we're at the Soul Plains. Oh! Lord Sherman, thank goodness you're awake! Are you hurt? Surprisingly, no. But what's going on? And where is everyone else? Well, I've been trying to find them, but... I don't think anyone else is in this area. I haven't seen any sign of Fang. And I have no idea what happened with the Vile God. Everything's a mystery. It would seem that way. For now, we should get moving. We won't learn anything by standing around here. Yeah, I think you're right. Let your guard down. It's my turn. Mind and body are fortified. Here I come. Ah! Rest in peace. Here I come. How was that? Ah! Here I come. Rest in peace. First and win! Here I come! Ah! Rest in peace, everyone! Thank you. you let your guard down! Here I come! Ah! How's this? Rest in peace. You're one step closer to what Should I open this? Open this. There's seriously nobody here. You think we'd spot at least one person, but Shh, quiet. Someone's coming. I'm sorry. I don't have any money on me, honest. Stop spewing that verbal garbage, small fry. And quit trying to worm your way out of this. A generic character like you just needs to shut up and accept that you're gonna get pounded into the dirt. Is that... Tiara? My eyes say yes, but... She's acting very strange. Ryushin, can you confirm if that really is Tiara? Scanning and comparing vital measurements. The probability of it being the same person is roughly 99.8%. She's acting like some kind of bad-tempered delinquent. She's acting like... Fang. Even Fang isn't that bad. Hey! Bilbo's wondering, girly boy! What are you staring at? Get bent! This ain't no peep show! What did she just say? Hey, you two! Don't just stand there, help me! Please! I'll make it worth your while! Why is it always gotta get complicated? Fine! Now you're all my victims! Hand over everything you've got! Lord Sherman! What should we do? I doubt persuasion will be very effective in this situation. For now, I suppose we'll just have to subdue her. Oh, what? You wanna throw down? Fine then! All aboard the pain train! Let's go, Kiwi! I will waste no time! Here I go! No Who am I fighting? It's my turn. Execution upper screen. Away with you! It's over! Time to go all out! Here I go! Are you serious? Darkness, disappear! How was that? Damn, bastards! Now, atone for your sins! Damn it! What the hell's up with you guys? Just calm down, would you, Tiara? What happened to you anyway? How the hell do you know my name? Do you not remember us? 
Could the shock of being teleported to these planes have caused her to lose her memory? Oh, now I get it! You're a couple of Dorfa Stooges, aren't ya? Well, screw you! You're not taking me in! <laughs> hey! Tiara! What could all of this mean? Yeah, I have no idea. What the heck is going on around here? Oh! I know! Maybe we should ask that guy who... Seems to have disappeared. Th that jerk? He just ran away? He said he was gonna give us a reward. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. For now, we should return to Zelwyn's and speak to people there. Perhaps we'll learn something. Okay. I'm glad you're here, Lord Sherman. Bang is terrible at dealing with these kinds of situations. to death. <sighs> oh, welcome back, Lord Sherman. Did you learn anything? It seems our situation is much more complicated than I had thought initially. Take a look at this. What is it? A newspaper? And the date is from forever ago. From our perspective, it is indeed. But as far as the town is concerned, this is today's paper. Today's... what? So what? We traveled back in time? That was my first thought. But that alone wouldn't explain Tiara's unusual behavior. Affirmative. Though it defies logic, my analysis shows that there is a 91.3% chance that this is a past version of our world. When you put it like that... Something else caught my attention as I was walking around town. flower shop girl and the cafeteria manager. Everyone I know here is acting... odd. What do you mean, odd? Similar to Tiara. The normally polite, elegant flower girl was talking like a construction worker. That wasn't the worst one. The normally even-tempered cafeteria manager. Just thinking about it is giving me goosebumps. I, I see. This is almost certainly the past. There are still too many unanswered questions that must be answered as quickly as possible. But... what can we even do? First, let's leave Tiara B for now. We should search for the others. Fang, for example. If you exist here, I have no doubt that he also exists within this world as well. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. He's my partner, so if something happened to him, I wouldn't exist anymore. Then starting tomorrow, let us begin our search for Fang. Please take today to rest up. Huh? Are you leaving? We're not staying in the same room? Of course not. We may be very inhuman, but you are still a lady. Oh, and I paid for our rooms out of my own pocket. I couldn't bring myself to use our group funds. Well then, pleasant dreams. Hmm. He really is the total opposite of Fang. Now then, we should get going. Do you have any thoughts on where Fang could be? Oh, um, before that, there's something I 
I want to take care of. I have all the furies we've gathered so far, right? But I'm wondering what's going on in the places where they were before. If there are other furies there, we should probably get them. I see. If this is indeed the past, then the same villains from before may be after those very same furies. And I bet Fang would think of that too. So maybe we should check out the places where Fang first got the furies. I have no objection. Let's head to the first location right away. Okay, let's go!
So there's a theory here, yes? Or rather, there was. Yeah, Bang knows all about this place. If he had the same idea as us, there's a good chance he would head here. If I'm being honest, part of me wonders if Feng would really think things through that far. Analysis of his speech patterns, behavior, and general personality indicates a non-zero probability that this is true. Uh, please don't say that. Even if part of me does agree with you. But, but still, we don't have any other leads, right? Besides, I'm curious about the fury. Why don't we give it a shot, okay? Very well. Cannot forgive evil. Here I come. Huh? Huh? How was that? It's my turn. Huh? Rest in peace. Here I come. Huh? How was that? Everyone. I cannot forgive evil. Here I come. Rest in peace. Here I come. Huh? Rest in peace. like a proper little princess. But maybe this is her true nature. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Lord Sherman? Are you getting tired? No. I was just gazing at the landscape and feeling a bit sentimental. You don't have to be concerned. Taking time to admire the view, even now. That's so like you, Lord Sherman! Hey, why don't I go and scout ahead? I wonder if the reason for her sudden change is... You are the last person I would have expected to come calling. Are you here to pick a fight? Do you think I would simply appear before you if I did? Huh. You should be smart enough to know better than that, at least. Then state your business. I wouldn't want someone to spot the two of us meeting in secret and get the wrong idea. Someone within your group of friends carries the blood of the vile god. That's all I wanted to tell you. So you should probably be on your guard. He speaks nonsense. Although, the same crest Bernard displayed also appeared on Tiara's forehead. Which means Tiara and the Vile God really are. Is something wrong, Sherman? Your heart rate and body temperature have measurably increased. Mark my words, Ryushin. If she has inherited the Vile God's blood in this world as well, then I swear, I will kill her. Understood. But for now, we can only pray that our fates have changed. I believe we've reached the end of the line. Yeah. Should be around here somewhere. What the? You really gave me a run for my money. But now it's all over. Aldo? That person he's fighting. Dorfa is after me. You can talk? Oh, Dorfa? What are you talking about? Oh, hey, what's this? Some adoring fans are here to observe my awesomeness? Well, you're out of luck. We've already reached the end of the game. I don't even need to use my special move. Hey, Goldo! What are you talking about? You're not helping Dorfa, are you? 
What? Who the hell are you? Who said you could talk to me like you know me? Stay back. It would appear he suffered the same fate as Tiara. Which means... Hmm. The way you're dressed, I'm guessing you're a fencer, huh? Today's my lucky day. I was getting bored chasing after this traitor. But now I get the pleasure of taking care of a stray fencer, too. Goldo, hold on! You're not serious, are you? What's going on in this world? All we can do for now is push through whatever little problems get in our way. Let's go, Ryushin. Fair rise! Negative. After analyzing the target's maximum potential combat capability, I see no need to fuse. Ha! <laughs> Boy, you talk a big game. Well, I'm going all out, right from the beginning! Marissa! Fair eyes! Okay! Do your best, Goldikins! You just sit there and watch, Ethel! Once I destroy this arrogant prick, I'm coming for you next! I see you like to talk just as much as ever. I gotta earn me some street cred! Then I can rise up through the ranks and get rich and famous! Here I come! I will waste no time! Here I come! Stand in my way, and you will Here die! Here I come! Fair eyes! Now then, let's go! Everything in this strike! My soul roars! How was that? I will not allow any further sorrow. Fair eyes out! Goldikins, this isn't good. I hate to say this, but your enemy has you outmatched. But I haven't finished off Ethel yet. I can't back down now. As long as you live, you'll always have setbacks. Withdraw for now, and you can mitigate your failure with this new information. Gosh, you're smart. You always find new ways to surprise me. So then, I guess I'll let you all off the hook for today. Aldo, why? She's been injured badly. We need to tend to her wounds right away. I appreciate the gesture, but we couldn't possibly ask you to do more than you already have. He's right, Lord Sherman. I don't know what they've been through, but I do know we can't trust them. Last time we met, she attacked us. I'm afraid I don't recall that. I remember all the missions we completed for Dorfa, but we've never seen you before. Wait, you guys worked for Dorfa? This is totally different from the past I remember. We should put all that aside for now. I'll carry you back to the inn. Here, get on my back. Lord Sherman, wait! Are you sure about this? Those who were once our allies are now our enemies. It may be wiser to trust those who are once our enemies, don't you think? Well... Further, I believe it would be in our best interest to learn more about Dorfa's movements throughout this world. Galdo is working for Dorfa, and it seems Dorfa has been pursuing Tiara as well. This is a thread connecting them all together. If Ethel's been working for Dorfa, it might be good to hear her story. Everything we can do to treat her. I think all she needs now is plenty of rest. How can I possibly repay you? If you hadn't shown up, Ethel would be... It's fine. This suits our interests as well. More importantly, what can you tell us about Dorfa? You were working for them, yes? Yes, but the Dorfa we knew just suddenly changed one day. It was never exactly wholesome, but now it's not even really a company. It's just a bunch of villains trying to rule over others. Defying Dorfa meant death, plain and simple. Ethel and I couldn't take it anymore, so we tried to escape, but... No way! The Dorfa I remember was doing some awful stuff too, but it was never out in the open like that! Hmm. 
and I believe I've come to understand some small part of this world's secrets. What do you mean? I think you can look at this world as one whose fate has been distorted. After our encounter, the vile god's power may have remade our world. This would explain why everyone's personalities have become twisted, and why the past is different from the one we remember. Uh, what? If that's true, then how come you and me are still the same? Just before the vile god was resurrected, you invoked the power of the goddess. And I suppose I was in the blast radius, as it were. That could explain why I managed to avoid being influenced by the vile god's power. Which would mean everyone else... They're no longer the ones we once knew. That would be a reasonable assumption, anyway. But now it's clear what we must do. Dorfa is to blame without a doubt. If we want to restore our world, we must destroy them. You want to take on Dorfa? You can't be serious. Do you realize just how powerful they are? Whether we want to or not, there is no other path forward. I want to help too. Well, I was thinking the same thing, Ethel. I can't believe there are still people in this world who would stand against Dorfa. Would it be alright if we asked you to add our strength to yours? You're quite welcome to join us. More allies is never a bad thing. But if we're gonna go up against the Vile God, we really are gonna need Fang. I agree. Let's renew our search for him tomorrow. I only pray he hasn't become our enemy as well. Fang, where are you? So, you couldn't dispose of one measly traitor. How useless. Useless, useless! A truly terrible performance! Mm, maybe. But, like I said, some weird fencer got in my way and... Then exterminate this fencer pest immediately! Rebellion against Dorfa is unforgivable. I don't care what it takes, track him down. And if you fail us again... Yes, ma'am! Sorry to interrupt. But, can't we deal with these traitors and stray fencers whenever we feel like it? Do you have a point, Director Bernard? My point is, there's an order to things. Dorfa has used the Vile God's power to expand rapidly. But there are still all kinds of unknowns. If we want to solidify our control, I think our priority should be finding the last remaining fragment. You're talking about that Tiara girl. But as you know, we have no idea where she is. Then just send him to search for her. Even one more person will hasten her discovery. Hmm. Very well. Galdo, join the search for Tiara. And of course, my position on failure has not changed. I, I completely understand. And you can count on me. Galdo here gets the job done when it counts. We appreciate your full cooperation. By the way, how is our new president doing? Oh, very well. He's keeping himself entertained by draining our company funds. We've limited the costs to the entertainment budget for now, but even our resources are limited. Have Paiga give him a warning. As the President's aide, it's his job to rein in his recklessness. <laughs> Understood, Deputy President Mariana. Bernard grows bolder by the day. But of course I realize we couldn't control the Vile God's power without him. Either way, I'll have to act soon. Lord Sherman, about where we should go next. Karin says she knows where we can find a Fury. Recovering Furies was basically our department. So we know exactly where we can find some fairies that haven't been collected yet. Then we'll follow your lead. If Fang does decide to go after the fairies, that's the best chance we have of running into him. We'll just have to put our faith in that for now. Ethel, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm tougher than I look. Scanning vital signs. Sherman, she is not in peak condition, but her combat abilities should not be hindered. Understood. Then let's go. I'll be counting on you. Thanks. I'll do my best. <laughs>